Hi, my name is Ellie. I am one half of Tough Souls and today I'm here to tell you all about the Burn Way. The Burn Way is a 100 km semi-loop trail that we started in Lahinch and finished in Carrafin, County Clare. This trail has several different route options, twisting its way along the coast and also bringing you through the Burn ecological area. The route we walked took us four days, bringing us along small roads, rocky trails and karst landscapes. This was trail 38 when walking all 42 of Ireland's National Waymark trails. Starting the trail in a hinge, we walked 10 kilometres out to Liz Canner. The first two kilometres are gorgeous beach walking and the setting sun glistened on the water. After walking along several small roads and quiet lanes, we then made it to Liz Canner. Our second day was our longest day of walking, covering around 32k from Liscanner up to Fenor. Heading out of Liscanner, we walked about 6k on road before hitting smaller dirt tracks. It was approaching midday when our track finally reached a drop and we stood atop the cliffs of Mohair. This section of trail features almost 12 kilometers of beautiful rugged cliff walking, with loud waves crashing below you and wild seabirds screeching at each other for better cliff purchases. The sun was really strong that day, creating a slight haze out over the cliffs in front of us. When we first joined the cliffs, we were two of maybe 10 people walking along its twisting path. However, the closer we got to the Cliffs of Moher Visitor Centre, the more people we met on this trail, until the trail and surrounding cliff edges were swarming with people. So much of our walking is done alone that it was a bit of a shock to our system. The whole 12 kilometres that we walked on that cliff edge had absolutely beautiful views, and the only really busy section was around the Visitor Centre. Once past that area, we continued quietly along the cliffs until we reached the village of Doolan. After a quick pit stop at the famous chocolate shop, we continued our way north. Heading out of Doolan, the trail is back on roads, and we followed the haphazard nature of Irish lanes, slowly but surely northwards. As the evening progressed, the roads we were walking on did progressively get smaller and smaller, with the landscape around us also slowly transitioning into that more famous stony karst landscape that we knew the area for. And we finished that evening in Fenor. On day three, we were once again in rainy storm clouds, and even though we couldn't see much of it, it was still a beautiful walk. We started off once more on small roads, following the Care River. In this area around the Black Hedge, the trail divides into multiple routes. Our two options were to go north around the headland or follow the river east. We chose the inland route because of the bad weather. The tracks on this section were mostly grassy or loose rock, making the walking easy and enjoyable. It was also very handy to have such a well-defined path as our visibility was so poor that we often couldn't see the next way marker out in front of us. We finished that day at Clare's Rock Hostel. On our final day from the hostel up to Cara Finn, the weather improved gradually. Most of this day was spent on small roads, walking with friends. Thankfully, as the day wore on, the weather improved. I think we personally didn't have an amazing time on this trail because of the route options we chose and the weather. We were also unprepared for just how busy some of the sections of this trail would be. The west coast of Ireland always has incredibly changeable weather, so as always, if you're going to do this trail, definitely bring wet weather gear, as well as the sun cream. Clare has plenty of indoor accommodations, and if you're doing this during summer, I would highly recommend booking ahead. If you're looking for campsites along this trail, there are official campsites in Mahinch, Doolin, Fenora and Carrafin. As always, we will have more information in the description, along with links to our full-length blog post, video and free maps. These videos are made possible by the amazing support of our patrons. It's thanks to them that we can keep making videos, so I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody who supports us. This week, I would like to give a special thank you to Colin Whishaker, Jen Carey and Marcus Kavanagh. Thank you guys and everybody who supports us so much, and I will see you in our next video.